Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, November 8, in 1863, Charlotte Serge wrote a letter to General Marcellus Monroe Crocker, the Union Commandant of the Natchez District, thanking him for his assistance in preventing her home, Clifton, from being destroyed. The Serge's estate was described as one of the finest in Natchez, with the great column mansion surrounded by celebrated gardens, dotted with conservatories, gazebos, and pavilions. After touring the estate, one Union general wrote to his wife that one continuously wonders that such a paradise has been created here on earth. Unfortunately, as the story goes, Frank and Charlotte Serge forgot to invite Peter Haynes, the chief of the engineering corps, to a dinner they hosted for Union officers. Supposedly, in retaliation for the social snob, Haynes ordered the eviction of the Serges and the destruction of their house. From her letter, it is obvious that Serges were appealing to every Union officer for help. Charlotte wrote, The prospect of abandoning it to its sad fate has kept me miserable for many weeks. I'm sure you will succeed in your endeavors. Sadly, Crocker did not succeed, and by December 17th, the house, outbuildings, gardens, and grounds had been destroyed. Thomas Mitchell of the 4th Illinois Cavalry noted in his diary that day that Union forces were tearing down a large brick house near us and we can get plenty of brick to build chimneys, etc. for our tents. The wife of one Union general described the destruction of Clifton as an unnecessary and wanton act. I'm Anne McNeil and my grandmother, Charlotte Linton Sergei McKittrick, was named for her godmother, Charlotte Linton Sergey, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.